Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. So today we're talking about categories of airports. So airports can be defined by several categories based on airport activities. So this can include commercial service, cargo service, reliever, and general aviation airports. So the first one is commercial service airports. These are the large publicly owned airports that everyone is familiar with. And they have at least 2,500 passenger boardings each year and receive scheduled passenger service. So these are your examples like JFK, Chicago, LA. The next category is cargo service airports. So these are airports that can provide, well, other aviation services as well, but are served also by aircraft providing only cargo and have a total annual landed weight of more than 100 million pounds. So landed weight means the weight of the aircraft transporting only cargo. Now an airport can be both a commercial service airport and a cargo service airport. So the next category is reliever airports. These are airports that relieve congestion at the commercial service airports and provide improved access to the overall community. So these are all the smaller airports that are around uh, the main airport at a city. So these airports reduce congestion at the main airport by providing outlets for flight training, military operations, corporate, and just recreational flying. And then the last category is general aviation airports. So this is the remaining airports that are commonly described as just general aviation. So even though these are the smallest airports, this airport type is the largest single group of airports in the US. So this category can include privately owned and also public use airports. So there you go, a quick review of different airport categories based on the airport activities. So thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed your flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.